Welcome to the Support Center Plus tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how customer tickets are effectively handled using the Contracts module. An organization can handle contracts in various ways. You may have support contracts, service contracts, or offer a warranty for the products purchased. Contracts constitute the binding relationship between an organization and its customers through an agreement. Support Center Plus offers contract management services to an account and their associated products. Let's watch how a contract works in Support Center Plus. Whenever a request is received in Support Center Plus, the application will check whether the request received belongs to an existing customer or a new customer. If the request is received from the new customer, then the default support plan is applied to the request. If the request is from the existing customer, then the application will check whether the customer is associated to any account. If the customer belongs to an account and the request raised pertains to any product associated to that account, then the contract associated to the product is identified and applied to the request. If the request does not pertain to any product, then the contract associated to the account is identified and applied to the request. The support services offered to an account will be available in the contract details. Based on the account, the support plan has associated service level agreement with certain rules. The service level agreement determines the expected closure time for the requests. Based on the Dubai time determined, the support rep resolves the request. Contracts can be created for an account having single or multiple products in the same time periods or different time periods. Each product associated to an account can have multiple contracts with specific time periods as well. However, accounts with multiple products cannot have contracts with overlapping time periods. Contracts can also be created for an account without products. To begin, click on the Contracts tab to create a contract. First let's give a name to the contract. Next select an account. Then select the active period for the contract which denotes the service time period. The contract can be applied to all requests raised by the selected account, or to specific products. Now select the support plan. The support plan determines the support type offered to the customer. The support plan can be configured under the admin tab, where you can select the service type as fixed, hour based, or incident based. Different cost types such as normal rate, holiday rate, after operational hours rate and weekend rate can also be defined in the support plan. Once the support plan is configured, it can be associated to service level agreements with certain rules. On selecting the support plan during the contract creation, the corresponding service type and SLA details are populated automatically. Any documents related to the contract can be attached. You also have an option to alert your account managers, support reps and customers with a reminder notification in advance about the expiration of the contract. Contracts can also be renewed upon expiration. Once the contract is created, it can be applied to the request. On selecting the customer details, the application will automatically pop up the active contract along with the contract expiration date and remaining hours or incident left on the contract. Once the request is recorded, the contract applied to the request can be viewed under the Account Info tab. The contract details are also displayed at the top of the Request Details page. On resolving the request, the support rep enters the time spent details under the Time Entry tab. The hours or incidents added as the time entry is automatically deducted from the contract, and the remaining hours or incidents can be viewed in the Contracts Details page. This ends the Contracts tutorial. Thanks for watching.